Alright. It's currently the week before the Flats and Handwashing Challenge. <laughs> and I thought I would do some video content. Because I won't be able to participate this year. So I've got a pile of diapers. <laughs> more family than I can handle. And we're gonna wash some diapers by hand. I think today... We? I want to show you how to hand wash and how to use a washboard. Keep in mind, I'm not an expert. All I do is watch other videos on the internet and then try it at home. But guys, that's what hand washing is. Literally, just washing diapers with your hands. Okay, so you're gonna need... So I've got dirty diapers. I have been using flats for the last couple days or so, and so I have a pile of dirty diapers. You need a sink. You need some water. Preferably hot water. You could do it with cold water. Just know that you're never gonna get quite that clean with cold water and that hot water is really gonna be helpful. The other thing that you really want is some sort of detergent or soap. So today I've decided I'm gonna use my seventh generation detergent because I like this and it's soft on my hands. I hope it's soft on my hands, we'll find out. You could use Tide. A few things to know about using Tide. It's gonna be really hard on your hands, so remember gloves and start with like a tablespoon and start from there. You can also use something like a pure soap bar. Soap bars is something that people have used while cloth diapering or while doing hand washing laundry for a while. In Canada, this is one of the only soap bars that I can find at the mainstream grocery store, but I know in the United States you have a lot more options. So the first step, whether you're hand washing or machine washing is to rinse all the pee and poop out of my ear diapers. I haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm also missing a diaper, let me go get it. I find it really helpful during the week while you're going is to unravel your flat diapers and this will help let it dry and I find that a dry diaper doesn't get as stinky and gross. I also kind of like to wash my flat separate than my covers. I used a lot of covers this week. If I had been proactive, I would have remembered to not have used so many covers. So just, I unpeel them no matter how I'm washing because this way um, it doesn't really get stuck up in the fold. Sometimes it will get stuck up in the fold and then you don't get nearly as good of a clean. I'm gonna put my sink stopper in. A lot of people will do this in their bathroom sink. I just get a lot better lighting here. And we're gonna use warm water and we're just gonna fill it up. This is kind of your pre-wash cycle. So you're gonna use a little itty bitty, I use a little itty bitty amount of detergent. Ooh. Like, barely any. If you use too much detergent, you're gonna be rinsing for days. It's easier to add detergent as you go versus remove it. I kind of just gently agitate it during my first kind of rinse cycle. You might be able to see the water starting to change color. This is good. This is very good. I'm gonna wash my hands and let this kind of sit for a little bit to help break down some of that yuck, and I'll be right back. Diapers between your hands kind of need it, any sort of motion to just get agitation. There's no right or wrong here, guys. Just agitation, and if your diapers come out smelling stinky or smelling like pee, you either didn't get enough soap, you didn't get enough agitation, or you just failed, so keep at it. But keep trying again. This is one of these things where you can watch as many YouTube videos and you can read as many blogs as you want, but it really does come down to practice. Practice, practice, practice. I'm just gonna use some of the seventh generation. I'm gonna use about half of, no, I'm gonna use like a third of what I normally use. Again, start small, work your way up. I'm only washing about six diapers today, so it doesn't um, doesn't need a whole lot of detergent. If you are using a soap bar, you could just rub it between your hands or you can grate it. And then again, very hot water is gonna be your friend. So this diaper was poopy. We're just gonna try to remove all of that poop. So there's no poop there. So I'm just gonna Give it a couple more runs, and then I just squeeze all my soapy water 
and then I put it in the other sink. So I'm gonna do a two-step motion where I clean my diapers here, squeeze them out, put them here, and then once they're all here, I'm gonna run them through some cold water and do my rinse. This is probably convoluted. There is probably a better way to do it. If you just want to hand wash, you can just go like this. A popular website out there suggests doing 50 plunges with a plunger, so say, knead it around 50 times. I really like the scrub board when I'm dealing with some serious poop, but sometimes just the simplicity... Oops. I'm also really messy at this, which is partly why I... Your water should change color. I wish I could show you, well, I could probably show you, but I don't really, how dirty the water looks. But we're just gonna pull the plug. So I'm gonna use cold water now and rinse the diapers. I like to rinse in our running cold water, however that is probably wasting water and it might be more beneficial if you're looking to conserve water, to just use your stopper and fill up the sink. If you don't have a sink stopper, this is my first sink with a sink stopper, using something like a bucket to hand wash your diapers is a really great other choice. Buckets are a great way to wash everything. Now we're just gonna rinse out as much of the soap as we can. Well, not as much. Ideally, you wanna rinse out all the soap. Arguably, the worst part about hand washing is wringing out those diapers. Now you have to, now, like, you could hang this up to dry, but it's gonna take forever. Now you need to spin out all the water. This is where your arms really kind of get a workout. Not really sure if there's anything better than just spinning it like this. Covers are one of the hardest things to wring. Um, they will take forever to dry. One way that you can do is you can go get a towel and you can stomp on them. And that sometimes helps reduce their dry time. But if you're trying to make, like I can never get a cover as dry as my laundry washing machine gets. And so they seem to always really linger in the dry time, especially for the elastics. All right, so we got a pile of diapers. Many people find during the hat, thoughts and hand washing challenge that they're able to get their diapers so much cleaner hand washing them. There's just something about the simplicity of hand washing, the agitation, the access to water, the scrubbing, the soap that really gets them cleaner. I find that's true but I also, my back hurts. <laughs> um, I definitely wasn't built to hand wash. Over the next couple weeks, I'm gonna show you how I also hand wash using good old plunger and my scrub and wash bag because these are kind of fun to use. All right, now I'm gonna go take these up to dry. I've got one of these octopuses from Costco and it's really helpful. If it wasn't looking like it was going to storm outside, I would just hang it outside. But I think I'm just going to hang these up in the bathroom. One thing I forgot to mention that I think is a really important step in 
hand washing is to smell your diapers from time to time. If you think your diapers are done, and you're done cleaning, and you're done agitating, and you're done, your back's done, give them a sniff. If they still smell like poop, and they still smell like pee, keep washing those bad boys. One of the things that I learned most from hand washing my diapers is really understanding how much agitation, how much water, how much soap, and how that all kind of interacts um, is important. And so I think everybody's hand washing routine, just like everyone's machine washing routine, is going to be a little bit different and it's going to vary depending on the strategy you use, depending on the water. But the basic sense is, is kind of get that pee and poop out. Use a little bit of detergent in the main wash and scrub, scrub, scrub until the water is disgusting, until the diapers smell better, and then rinse it all out. And if you have to rinse more than once or twice, you used way too much detergent. All right, I'm gonna leave the rest of my tips for my nine tips on how to rock your hand washing routine, and I will see you back again. Bye.